Google is constantly updating its algorithm on how it evaluates and ranks your website for keywords that you are targeting. On this video, we'll be sharing our top five tips that you need to focus on to get to the top of Google in 2022. First tip that has become more prevalent in the past few months is the loading speed and the overall performance of your website. Now, this is particularly important, especially if you're a new website or if you want to get to the top of Google for your targeted keyword quickly. Now, they launched um, this new set of metrics called Core Web Vitals last summer, and it's been slowly rolling out across the entire Google search network with some dramatic impacts on our customer rankings. Now we'll create a separate video on what Core Web Vitals is in more detail, but the most important thing is that your website loads the majority of its, of its content in under two and a half seconds. Now you can measure how your website is currently performing by visiting these two websites, uh, web.dev and gtmetrics.com. Both will give you a really accurate view on both what your desktop and mobile version is doing on your site. Plus, it will give some really handy areas of your site to improve on. Our second tip is that you must add video on your, on your website. Now, Google wants websites that are engaging, they're informative and easy to use. And adding video to your site just helps get, keeps users more engaged and can have a different way of understanding and engagement with your, the message that you want to tell on your site. Now, you don't have to get a film crew or you, have, you don't have to necessarily get professionally made videos. You can just start off with using tools like Canva or Biteable to get you started. But crucially, from an SEO perspective, get them uploaded to YouTube. Get all of the backlinks on your YouTube channel back to your website, to your landing pages. Make sure that the videos that you put on your landing pages match the title or have the keywords, have the, have the keywords within the title and embed them on your site, and then you will start seeing your ranking soar. Third one is schema markup. Now, schema markup is code that sits at the back end of your website, and it was designed a number of years ago by a collection of search engines, predominantly driven by Google, uh, in a language and code that can be truly understand, understood by search engines and is native code to them. And you can provide a whole raft of information about your business, about your service, or about your product. For example, your opening times, who founded the company, social media profiles, etc. You can even provide recipe, uh, food recipes with uh, all the different ingredients, uh, ratings, reviews, all a whole host of information. Um, and the beauty of this is that the more information that you give Google about your business or about your product, about your service, you give Google more confidence and therefore they are more likely to rank your, um, rank your site over your competitors. Now, schema markup is particularly crucial for local SEO, mainly because the majority of small business owners, local business owners that have got a website, they don't have any schema markup. So you can take real advantage by just adding a small piece of code. It's not difficult to create. It's not difficult to embed in the back of your site. But given that, will give you just that little bit more uh, confidence by Google, and therefore you'll definitely will start seeing your, your ranking soar. Our fourth tip is to get reviews. Now, this has been a long-standing SEO tip, but social proof, whether that is for a search engine like Google or for anyone in in life really, whether you're telling your friends or whatever it is, is a key element of building that trust and credibility amongst your potential prospects or leads. And this is no different in the SEO world. Making sure that you get frequent reviews on your Google business profile, check a trade or a trust pilot page or whatever it may be, it only not only demonstrate credibility to your potential customers, but Google takes reviews as an important ranking factor in making sure that it ranks credible and trustworthy businesses. Now, lots of people get really het up with reviews because they're worried about getting a two-star review, a three-star, or even the dreaded one-star review. But as long as they are only far and few between and you get a majority of four or five-star reviews, it just means that your business is real. Like we all know as business owners that you're never going to be able to serve every single customer immaculately and you're going to have the odd trouble. 
And again, volume is better than quantity at this stage, because again, it means that you're an active business, you have customers, and fundamentally, that's what Google wants to provide is relevant, credible companies for when people make searches on Google. So our fifth and final tip of this video is to A-B test your title tags. Now the title tag is the bit of blue text or purple text if you've clicked on um, the website on the Google search engine result page or the SERP. And this is probably the most important tag of them all when it comes to SEO because fundamentally you want to make sure that you've got your keyword in there and then you've got some descriptive text to invoke a click or to write something salesy or informative so that users will actually want to click on it rather it just being in the position that it is on Google. Now click-through rate optimization is actually going to become a really key, cru uh, crucial part of SEO. Now what you can do is that measure the click-through rate, which is the percentage of clicks that you get every time your website appears on Google for a particular search. And you can then play around with the, the copy of that title to see if that if you invoke more clicks than you did previously. Because naturally what will happen is that if you write something that is more attractive, more appealing, more invoking, um, copy than your competitors and you therefore get more clicks over the long term compared to your competitors that may be ranked a couple of spots above you, then naturally Google is going to assume that you are the more relevant uh, website, you are the more relevant company for that particular search. And even if you don't do anything on your, other, on your own website, if you don't do the other four uh, top tips that we provide in this video, if you get that right, you get more clicks than your competitors above you, you will naturally uh, start ranking higher.